is begging for help solving her son's murder. The 21-year-old man died in a double shooting back in September. Police say it happened after a house party near Wedgwood and Ross Drives in Newport News. No one has been arrested yet. Turn on your sides, Erin Kelly. Talk to the victim's mother, Erin. A very emotional, as you can imagine, conversation. Lolita Frazier calls this a pain that she can't explain. And she says if someone was tough enough to pull out a gun, they should be tough enough to look her in the face. I have so much peace in my life knowing that I told my son that I loved him every single day. Lolita Frazier clings to that on days like this. When she talks about that September night, she learned her 21-year-old son, Jordan Stith, had been shot. I just started praying. I just ask God to cover him and just hold him in his arms and just please don't let, please just don't let him die. And as I was walking back to my house, I just heard my daughter scream. Jordan was gone before she could make it to Newport News from her home in South Carolina. Another woman struck in the gunfire would recover. Police say the shooting happened near Wedgwood and Ross Drives. A witness tells 10 on your side he was going to a house party with others, but was told to leave. Then the gunfire started. Why is everybody quiet? Like, I know for a fact that, that not just one person knows what happened to Jordan. Many people know what happened to Jordan. Frazier won't quit until she knows too. And when she faces her son's killer, she knows what she'll do. I forgive them because I know that that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't hate them. I don't hold any type of malice in my heart towards them. But I feel like they should be accountable. They should look at me. They should allow me to tell them what they took from me, what they took from my family. And police have no new information in this case. So if you know something about this case, call the crime line. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.